what we wanted to figure out was what fuels quasars, which are the most luminous, the most energetic process that we know about in the universe. A beautiful <coughs> picture of a normal spiral galaxy that was unmasked in the presence of this intense blinding light from the central source. Right at the center of this picture, you will see the knot of brightness, which is the quasar itself, the quasi-stellar source. This is a picture of an apparently normal elliptical galaxy found underneath by Hubble, one of these most intense and luminous objects that we know about in the universe, the quasar. What is particularly surprising about this image is that if you read in any of the textbooks or any of the review articles in astronomy, you will find by general consensus that the quasars which do not emit radio emission live in spiral galaxies like the first image that we saw. This, however, is a normal elliptical galaxy which proves to be the host of a radio quiet quasar. And this is two galaxies, one of the galaxies apparently gobbling up the other galaxy, eating it up, the central galaxy where, which contains the quasar, in this case, probably has a massive black hole that is devouring gradually the neighboring galaxy. And the European Space Agency, of course, NASA's partner in uh, developing and operating the Hubble Space Telescope. Well, this, this project's a bit like driving at night in, in, a, in a snowstorm. Uh, and you've got the oncoming lights, very, very bright lights, which are actually the quasars. And what you're trying to see are the vehicles from which they come. And the situation's even worse than that, because from the ground, when you're uh, 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 underneath the atmosphere, it's as if the, uh, your windscreen wipers are off, and so you've got snow all over the windscreen. This one, for example, we're looking at now, you can see all the contrails left over by two galaxies that have been waltzing around one another. And they finally come together very violently. And if you go right into the middle of this, you can see it looks as if the core of one galaxy is eating up the core of the other one. We can see here, at the bottom of the picture particularly, the remains of a galaxy that's been really smashed up in a, in a, in a, a head-on collision. The middle of it's missing altogether, and it's probably one of these bits away off to the left here. Uh, and I'd like to emphasize that, that, you know, this kind of thing is very rare. You don't see galaxies colliding and merging like this very often.